Hello there. Yo, last episode, Carmela tried to recreate the Kanye West Jay-Z song with Italians in Paris, and you know what Kanye and Jay-Z did, but yeah, I feel like Kanye and Jay-Z did it way better. She was too emotional on that trip, man. She didn't enjoy Paris. I mean, what's going on, guys? <laughs> My name is Ellie Moses, a 24-year-old law and film student here in Australia, absolutely shooting his shot, baby, and today we are up to episode 12 of The Sopranos. Season 6, ladies and gentlemen. This one's titled Kaisha or Keisha or Kaisha. I don't know. I think Kaisha, hopefully. Um, we're going to get into the reaction. We're going to have some fun with this thing. And let's hope they pronounce that title in the episode so I know how it's actually pronounced. <laughs> let's get into the reaction. Let's run it. Let's go. Dedicated to John T. Patterson. Oh, that's the part of Dan. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> A head full of snow and he had a head in the freezer. Shaking my head. I just got rid of the last man. Thank fucking Christ. I drove up to Connecticut. Good. Rump roast went in down the shore. So the barbecue over in Sheep's Head Bay, that's still a go? <laughs> you know, I'm not really sure where the big guy left that. <laughs> Seriously, you're beautiful today. Is that the strip in which he is? Oh my god! Is that the shop Tony wanted to hit? <clears throat> yeah, it's done. Listen. Gee, sounds like a real weenie roast. Hey, your friend the Shaw was walking in when it happened. Him and some skifuza got blown back on their keisters. <laughs> and last oh, we going all out with Phil Leotardo. Thank you. Thanks. You know what, Tony? You got your dick I'm sucked last job. episode. You might as well just go full with Juliana now. It's over. It's over. Like, why? Why not? Listen, I just wanted to apologize. That night, uh... Just I make it a policy not to mix business. No apology necessary. Seriously. Good, because the truth is I haven't been able to forget about you, and uh, it ain't like I haven't been trying. So, you free for dinner? Maybe? Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Thank you. Congratulations on the sale, though. Yeah, keep a business, Juliana. That was cold. That was cold. Morning, sunshine. Benjamin Moore. And we can do the borders with the Disney characters. Aww. Makes me nervous, this stuff. We should wait to decorate till after the baby's born. Again with the superstitions? <laughs> Three o'clock. Remember Penguin movie? How you cried? You sit on an egg for months, one little thing goes wrong, you're left with nothing. Honey, I'm not Adriana. I'm healthy, our baby's healthy. Don't jinx it, don't stop jinx it. And enjoy this time, okay? I Got it. Let's just stop counting the chickens. The baby gonna be born at 3 a.m. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> oh, the yeah, the patient signage thing said La Serva. That's Adriana's mom. Walking man, get off, okay? He was gone by the time I got up. It used to be he wasn't home by the time you got up. <laughs> What's the matter? Spit it out. Come on. Liz Laserva tried to commit suicide. Pills. I gotta say, you know, I commiserate with the woman, but... She thinks her daughter is dead. <laughs> I told you, I hadn't had a dream about aid in Paris. A French policeman told me she was dead, and I had to tell her. I know, pal. Huh? Pepe Le Pew. It doesn't change the fact that Adriana is missing. And it also doesn't change the fact that her mother's a bitter lush who can't accept reality. What reality? That her daughter couldn't stand her, so she moved away. That's what you say to me two weeks after our own daughter moves away to California. Come on, will you stop? It's a, it's a different situation entirely. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just everything all at once. What everything? The holidays are coming and my spec house has gone to shit. Oh, your spec he's house. Doing job. He's doing better. You raised two gorgeous kids. You got a husband that loves you. You made us a beautiful home. Doesn't that count for something?
If she don't shut up about the spec house, I'm gonna burn it down myself. Come on, cut it out. He's already talking like a real construction worker. Yeah, funny. See how you like working out in the cold. Go check on the bird. We make some onion dip too. He tired from working on site. <laughs> Early wake ups, late finishes. So how's your bird these days? What the fuck are you talking about? Come on. Clandestine phone calls. I know you got a new gomma. What can I say, huh? The pregnant wife at home. Your timing is fucking priceless. Playground's closed. The man has his needs. Good point. That is cap, man, I can't honestly. I how many nights I defended for myself while she was out looking at bathroom fixtures. So there's no one. How come you don't bring her around? Honestly, I would, but uh, between us, she's black. Oh, you're faking a shine? Hey, he, too. he took a page out of Hesh out of Hesh's book. Not that it would matter to Paulie. I'd still have to listen to all his racial bullshit. Yeah, she would feel it too. Love how Guma's normal in their culture. Even like, oh, a man has his needs because my wife's pregnant. Shut up, man. Hey, Uncle Paulie. <laughs> oh, he in love. He in love. Hey, my girl. Give me. Give me that cheek. <laughs> I got your check. She a dollar what? Blanca. Hi. I'm Anthony. Yeah. I just did your paperwork. You live in Jersey? Hello. My urologist. I got to take this. <laughs> She look way older than AJ. If AJ scores that, I'm giving up on life. Like, I'll give up. Like, I'll just hang up the boots. Cleaned up if you gave me a minute. <laughs> you started it. Uh. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that Julia? Seriously. Oh. oh, well, that playground is clearly open. Damn, that playground is must be a runway because there's all stations there, man. Like, all the planes are landing in that joint. Far out. That's the busiest airport I've seen. I'm sorry, it's such a pigsty. Makes you worried about my project. You ruined my dress. Save it. Like Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> Show your friends how hard you made me come. Mm. Does she know he has a pregnant wife? What are we doing here, huh? I don't know. Can't stop thinking about fucking you all the time. <laughs> and she was engaged too, man. How can you even like a person who sleeps with a married guy? Can we not talk about it? I rushed in with her. I thought I wanted it. You do. You're not giving it a chance. You'll see, eventually you want kids. It'll be good. I don't want a family with her. She's got no idea who I am. She doesn't understand you? Brother, Kelly is a sweet and beautiful girl. Like, honestly. I can't believe it took me that long to clock it. Oh my gosh, Carmine Jr.'s in this scene? As you know, Phil asked me to arrange this meeting after the fire in his wire room. Correction. You asked me to fucking attend. I agreed. <laughs> Fair enough. The mediator. I to sit down because of the inclement negative implications. This guy. Think of it as a meeting of minds. Now, for whatever reason, certain incidents have expired lately that, in addition to being dangerous, could have an adverse impact on our respective bottom lines. I know Vito's bottom was impacted, if that's what you're referring to. <laughs> Call him what you will, but you're talking about one of my captains. Captain? The good ship Lollipop, right? Phil, please. Please, my ass. The man was a fucking disgrace. But before he came out of the closet, 
He worked for me. And he put a lot of money in my pocket. And yours, too. Talk about Ernest. How about Fat Dom Gamiello? What about him? He's MIA. A lot of people are concerned for his well-being. So what the fuck would I know about that? Well, as coincidence would have it, he was last seen in New Jersey. So was the Hindenburg. Maybe you want to look into that, too. <laughs> Tony, please, Phil. <laughs> get him off point. I grew up in this guy's. And I just lost my friend Rusty. And for reasons I will discern in time, believe me. If there's one thing my father taught me, it's this. A pint of blood costs more than a gallon of gold. My business, all of our businesses, this infighting's costing money. I'm willing to move forward. Let the past be bygones. Fine with me. A wise decision on both your parts. <laughs> what I'd love to see is a truce. Wipe the slate clean. The no-shows, the wire room, veto, put it all behind us. Your brother Billy, whatever happened there? All right, then. Whatever Don't bring it up. There, Don't bring it up. Whatever happened there? God rest his soul. Huh? I'll tell you what fucking happened. This piece of shit's cousin Calm put down, six Phil. bullets in the kid without any provocation whatsoever. My cousin's dead. Fuck you. Phil. Hey, we were making headway here. I didn't mean to Fuck say... Fuck what you meant, cocksucker. Come on. It was going well, little Carmine. Jesus Christ, Carmine. What the fuck? Why would you possibly bring that up? Off bomb. Do you reckon is Carmine smart enough to let that slip and make it look like he was dumb? If that makes sense, like he wants them to go at it and seem like he's the mediator and he's got no involvement at all. He just so happened to be called into it because he needs to sort things out. He's out of reti he's in retirement. He comes back in a little bit. You know, is he smart enough to play the dumb card and you know slip that in right there without having a Billy and then let them two guard each other's um, throats? Like, do you reckon, or is he just dumb? He's just dumb, and he's just actually an idiot. Like, right might be a long-term play, oh, man. Fuck. Is Juliana black? Like, or is she like light-skinned, like mixed race? Or is he hiding the fact? Like, did he play the black card because he knows Tony? Has liked it. Oh no, he hasn't. He doesn't know anything about that. It just so happens to be. I got a son, Hector. He's three. Ah, uh, that's cool. You ain't ready for those responsibilities, AJ. Oh my gosh, he bagged her. She's older than you. Oh my. You call me, right? Hey, there's only six numbers. I left the last one off. You want to find me? You're gonna have to work for it. How? How's this guy got more riz than? You have an emergency call on two. Oh Give. my god. Pop? Guess who? Uh oh my gosh. That's not funny. I had to get your attention. Well, you had my attention. Now you're wasting my time. I have to go. Uh, hold on. You got a warehouse listed on Panama. That used to be a uniform supply. What's he asking? Three and a quarter. Can I go now? I was driving by. I thought it had some potential. But it's really 9,400 square feet of leaky tar paper roofs and clotted galvanized plumbing and no foot traffic to speak of. He's up in a hard cell there. I'm thinking. You get the cell to knock something meaningful off the asking. I fix it. You flip it. Look, whatever happened, we did make some money together, right? You're serious about this? Oh, you never do shit like that? I'll get back to you. That's a good contact to have, eh? Doesn't mean you're gonna get inside her pants because your your, your nephews, you know, already in that. I, mean, I was up for anything. Signed the escrow papers, and I'm not sure what happened, but he left. It was so fucking humiliating. I was so worked up. I just needed to smooth it out. So there's the crystal. Oh, that's how I mean, he met her. Could have been worse, given my history. Could have been At the AA. Julie, right? Juliana. So, this is before, like obviously. Yeah. Man, seriously. I'm uh, glad. Or sorry, I guess. Got a similar situation with my job. I really get that rush when it's working. I don't think I've ever heard you share in there. Not a judgment, by the way. Well, you learn as much from others. I split my time at NA, too. Oh, NA, my bad, my bad. Tell me about it. You look familiar. Pork store there. Satrials. Oh. 
Right. So she knows. Wow. Cool. So I guess I'll see you, or maybe next week here. Wait. You want to go for coffee? Well, um, okay. Want to follow me to that dive on Sip and JFK? Why is JFK always name dropped? Really? In the coffee car park? For some people, depression is a form of forced introspection. <sighs> Did you ever think that maybe it's an intrusion into age personal life? <laughs> cool, Tony. You might have to suck this one up, Tony. They had this case once. This guy ran out on his child support. He was a hiking enthusiast, missing 12 years. And they tracked him down to a watering station in the Mojave Desert. <laughs> Is he going to tell Syl to move the body? <laughs> Carmelo Speckhouse, I need you to go lean on that building. <laughs> Keep her busy. <laughs> Keep her busy. My wife needs a career. Keep her busy. Keep it busy. Hey. <laughs> Season's greetings. Good holidays to your family, huh? Yeah, you too. I'm waiting for the Arabs to do something, man. They, they're just... They, it's brewing with them. Like, they keep having these little moments. Much bigger than I thought. That's I what she said. We could do apartments, some light retail. But we snagged on some zoning issues. <laughs> Let me worry about that. So who's this... fiancé you were telling me about? Jesus. What the fuck do you want here? Yo, she be coming... Ho on, huh? She be coming hostile. I'm not now. What a coincidence, because that's exactly how I feel. Take all the time you need. Just stick it in the lockbox. If Tony finds out that Chris is hitting that... Chris might get hit by Tony. It's only the latest draft. The guy who wrote it, I met him at a meeting. JT Dolan, big user. Can tell. Oh, JT again. <laughs> yeah, it's a work in progress. Saw, hostile, Cleveland. <laughs> but Michael, he, he knows it's the boss right away. You might want to make more of a mystery out of it. What do you mean? This boss, he's a really rough. Is Anthony Soprano like that? It's just a jumping off point for the character. Oh, so she knows. He hasn't been anywhere. Nothing happened, I told you that. Don't matter. He's been there in his mind. Ugh. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> You're right. Guy's got a lot more in his mind than this. Like whether or not to have that third sandwich. Brother, you should have your kid on your mind too and your wife. Not a fucking parking spot. I was about to make a long-term parking joke there, but um, yo, this one wild. This one Gloria 2.0. I thought, um, what's her name was that? What's her name again? The one that got Don't burned up. Wrong. I love Don more than anybody. I'm I can't believe. I don't know if Tony was behind this. It's payback for Vito. So why the fuck did they blow up the wire room? Double payback. Balls on this prick to blow up a store. You call that balls? Balls is you look a guy in the eye while you jam a ice pick to his lung. I meant balls as a nerve. Ball. I know what the fuck you meant. As far as I'm concerned, this is like 9-11. Tony wanted our attention? Fine. He got our attention. Now we wipe him off the planet. Yo! You know that, that cocksucker says I look like the Shah of Iran. Who does? Tony. I never got that at all. That piece of shit. It's irrelevant, Phil. But he's testing you. All the time, and you keep indulging him. You're right. Look at all these yes men with Phil. I won't do that. It's been done before. And it was wrong then. I for night then, huh? Pick somebody over there. Oh, they're gonna pick Chris. Oh, they're gonna pick either Chris or his mate here. Motherfuckers and Narcotics Anonymous, fucking Jerry Springer show. The fuck with your whining tonight? Civilians, 
Their bosses find out, they slip, they get a plane ticket to Minnesota. Tony will fucking mulch his roses with what's left of you. Now she's solid now, years sober. We fucking met at a meeting. That never happens to me. That's all you gotta say. School's a thought. Two of you together could be enabling. Valentina! Have it shared. Oh, but it's more like she knows how bad it is. We watch out for each other. She wouldn't even let me have Red Bull, seriously. Well, that's the other school. Two are stronger than one. I know I'm different with her. Well, I guess we just keep an eye on it. You fucking lucky cocksucker. <laughs> Another married man? I know. And it gets worse. I think he's connected. To what? Huh? The mafia. No. But no. <laughs> I know he is because I was involved with his boss. He's sweet. It's good to me. You I think you that? To very carefully. I'm your sponsor. I'm not judging you. I'm not disappointed. I am concerned, and I'm here to help you help yourself. Listen to this sponsor. You, I've lived in North Jersey my whole life, and those people, like his boss, they are sociopaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murderers. She know the game. She know the game. Okay. Don't hug me on top of everything. I'm getting a cold. Okay, you'll be you. Find out for yourself, Juliana. <laughs> what a movie. What a movie. It's really silly. <laughs> My baby's sleeping. What you call my suck out dick? What's this asshole's problem? Uh-oh. My ex used to go down and kick their asses, but now they're back. Okay, Bobby. You ain't that guy. You ain't that guy, AJ. Don't try and be the hero for the girl. He's gonna think he's him. Yo, it's 301, AJ. He's gonna get a gun, or a bat, or a piece, something. A knife. It's a Gary Fisher. It's only a year old. When my parents gave it to me last Christmas. Hi. Interesting. You sure it don't bother you I have a baby? No, I love kids. <laughs> you know what's funny? This um, is fucking ridiculous. You're not going no place. You know what's funny? I like how Paulie was the one to come out of the car and interact with AJ um, on the job site. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? And Paulie's guma had kids. And then AJ directly goes with someone who has a kid as well. Like, interesting, interesting. Like, I want to. We can watch a DVD. I got the 50 cent movie down in my trunk. Hey, get rich or die trying. <laughs> oh, that's that's an insult to 50 cent, Don't man. Don't talk. That's it. You're fucking grounded. Lie down. <laughs> Fuck it. It's over the counter. How much shit could be in it? <clears throat> <clears throat> Is she worried about getting addicted to something? Maybe you could get some valerian tea. You put eight, nine, ten tea bags in a cup. What the fuck's that gonna do? It's equal to like taking a Valium. I didn't know that. Same chemical family. Gotta have some cough suppressant value, right? Worst case scenario might help you sleep at least. Bro, I swear he never even cared out for aid this much when she was sick. Jesus Christ, they didn't teach you how to use a pair of pliers yet? Oh, it smells all Christmassy in here. <sighs> Come on. Oh, the Russos, picture of their dogs. That's sad with no children. Oh, my God. The building department. They're repealing the stop work order on my spec house. Construction may begin immediately. <laughs> Tony, is this you? <laughs> this is the best Christmas present I ever <laughs> <laughs> I better return that vacuum I got you there. <laughs> so, Christmas Eve, besides the shrimp, I told the Santo, the cherry stones. Fine, good. 
You sure? Because last year you said the cherry stones were chewy. A little next, then. Jesus. Ebenezer Scrooge over here. Stop breaking my balls about clams. I don't feel good. The soft scrub. Lemon scented. Was that the girl he was hanging out with? You're cool as a cucumber. Earlier in the episode? I'm hot. I got a tightness in my chest up by the esophagus. Well, Yo, everybody got this though. chest infection. Yeah. Imagine the Christmas Marie and the kids will be having after all that with Vito. The Bellas, too. Catherine's stroke. Remember last year at my mother's house? Francesca Spettafor did that beautiful solo of Our Holy Night. Vito accompanied her on the piano. I gotta try and take a shit. Now, when one is having a heart attack, the body releases proteins that act as markers, which we would detect in the blood. You don't show any, sir. So, his heart is fine? Yep. Jesus <sighs> Christ. Mr. Leotardo, some people would pay millions for that diagnosis. So what the hell's wrong with me? My guess is simple gas. I always say he's full of hot air. <laughs> Pharmacy's down the hall. They will give you some antacid. Oh, yeah. is he in Spider-Man 2? Nervous Nelly, that's what you are. Is he the pizza store? Though? No more pizza. Rip <laughs> Is he that guy? <laughs> I was like, I've seen that face before. You should be in New York, my guy. Oh, wait, they are in New York. Ooh. It's the multiverse. Came back to look at this loft space. Oh, my gosh. So much for your meetings. I'm dying. My heart. Oh my god. Yo, Phil having a heart attack? No, this guy, th this guy's, this guy's in, is an imposter as a doctor. I don't want, he works at the pizza store. I fucked the girl we were in the Santa hat once, but I was too distracted. I kept losing my heart on. Julia Tato took a heart attack. A big one, apparently. Oh, so there is a Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, no. He's in intensive care over in Brooklyn. Doesn't look too good. Tweet on, drinks all around, and uh, club soda for the messenger here. You're happy about this tea? Why not? The pain of my balls. A manageable pain, though, huh? The devil you know. After the shit of little carmines. Corrado, don't you have nothing? You can make a hand turkey. For Christmas? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Visitor from Mr. Soprano. Oh, this one. Bobby! Bobby? Yo, Anyone that... know what bacala is? Of course you don't. <laughs> well, it's salted cod. We taught the world how to eat. Johnny, sit. Man, you can tell this guy's been so lonely for however long it has been, like months. Happy holidays, huh? I feel bad. You smell the piss in this place? I ain't gonna stay too long. It wouldn't be right. I mean, frankly, I shouldn't be here after what happened with Tony. He's still up on his cross, huh? Junior, you shot him. Yeah, well, it's not that simple. I know a few things you don't. Like maybe I wasn't acting alone. Junior, JFK was 40 years ago. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. See that one over there? An attorney. I'm mounting my case. Look, I should take off. You want a snack? A soda? The fuck? You just got here. Happy holidays. Yeah. One hand washes the other. Hey, big up, Uncle Jun. <laughs> Caught in 4K. <laughs> you know her? <laughs> oh, that's right. You and her. How'd that all go? I had to put her on the shelf. 
Well, and she's a friend of Kaisha, the black one I was telling you about. Oh, Kaisha, yeah, yeah. She was just now asking me what to get Kaisha for her birthday. So Kaisha's, Kaisha's fake. Luther Vandross, box set. He know he lying. Bro, Chris, Chris is not making it out of 6B. I'm telling you. This drug situation is spiraling out of control. And I've said it in the last episodes. Like, it was only a matter of time. For one thing, we don't use needles. And that's meant to be better? Like... But we don't use needles. Get the fuck out of here. I should probably tell Tony we're fucking. What? We're not anymore. He's already hinky. Start poking around. Finds out we met Nene. He could suspect I'm using again. And you're stuffed. I ruin everything. You're gonna vomit in that, yeah? Here he is. Where the fuck you been? You here to fill out surgery now? Turds in the aorta. Medical first. Gotta see my chiropodist. T. Is, uh, something I should tell you. A real estate agent. Yeah? I've been banging her. See, I knew some shit was going on. Why the fuck did you lie to me? I wasn't sure how it ended with you two. Until you set me straight. It's stupid, right? Point is, I want everything above boards, as always, between you and me. So I don't give a fuck. Do what you want with her. <laughs> I feel like he said that before. Do what you want with her. This is my reward. Your reward? I do not betray my wife. I go out of my way not to have an affair with this woman. This very hot, very beautiful, intelligent woman. Goes to the way Carmela nursed me and cared for me. And I... My fucking turkey neck of a nephew winds up with his dick in there. A guy I gotta see every day. But like... And this is my reward. The, the, the logic here is so broad. I go out of my way to not to cheat on my wife. Like... <laughs> like <laughs> I love the brain of this man. It's hilarious. Frankly, I'm encouraged. With the fucking riddles again. I sat here dreading the end of the story would involve you erupting in some act of violence towards your nephew. Well, Christmas isn't over yet. Oh, you came no. Out of that shooting. Uh <laughs> really, each day is a gift. Well, this is a corollary to that. What? You don't have to eat every dish of rigatoni, you don't have to fuck every female you meet. You know what I've been realizing? These women, they're all sort of the same. Dark complexion, smart. They smell a little bit of money. The you and uh, Gloria. And this Ashkenazi. So what's that about? What do you think it's about? Wait. Well, <clears throat> Probably the reason I still come here to hang out with you. <laughs> Nothing really changes with the therapy part. I've said that uh, for ages. It almost seems more like a hangout, like just for both to get words off their chest. I don't know. I know talking is a therapy in itself, and letting things out is a therapy in itself. But at the same time, damn. The sort of like opacity change right there with them at the cinemas and them doing the drugs. Hmm. 
Yo, where's Kelly in all this? Like, Ke is Kelly just home alone decorating the place while pregnant? And he's just abandoning her? Huh? The feds out for Harris. Says he wants you to know he's here having a sandwich. We haven't seen Agent Harris for a while, to be fair. They're on that 9-11 thing, so... They've changed up. What's your mind, not enough mail? Army, how you doing? Good. So how's the war on terror? <laughs> Christmas is always potentially our busy season. So, Bill Leotardo, huh? Coronary? I swear to God, I had nothing to do with that. Just so you know, I'm, uh... I'm still in touch with some agents who work OC. From what they hear, you're not very popular in Brooklyn right now. So what else is no, huh? That someone close to you may be in danger. Really? Anybody specific? All they know is, uh, it's under serious discussion at top levels. Damn. Hey, that's good that word's getting out to Tony like that. But let's see how he's going to act with this information. Thanks. It's Christmas. Yo, big up Agent Harris for that. Is he proposing? Oh, I thought he was proposing what? for a second. It was the flip phone. call doctor? Cramping in my legs. It could be anything. Well, then what did you call me for? Just to say hi. That you're all right. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bring me home a quattro for Maji. I don't care what time it is. Wake me up. All right. Mwah. Mwah. Bro, she's... What the fuck? She's a beauty, man. And... Should we go to a meeting? I don't know. What do you want to do? I know one that starts in half an hour in Glen Ridge. Oh, she got infectious eyes. I'll give her. I'll give her that. Damn. Oh, Yo, that was so awkward right there. The delay in actions. Take one car. I'll follow you. I sense Chris is in danger here. I don't know. Some Christmas present, huh? I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. God loves you. I know God loves you, but like, aren't you gonna say, I love you, like, your wife loves you, baby loves you, like, I don't know, man. Hey, it's only a, only a few uh, only a few months. Hey, I should come to Brooklyn, <laughs> Only a few months ago, they were looking at Tony like that. Listen to me. No, I never told nobody this. But while I was in that coma, something happened to me that the wind so blew. I think, but I know I never want to go back there. And maybe you know what I'm talking about. Hey, is, is that Phil shedding a tear right maybe there? Nobody ever laid on their deathbed wishing they shaved more no-show jobs. You take your time. You get better. You get out of this fucking place. But when you do, you focus on grandkids and good things. We can have it all, Phil. Plenty for everybody. I love this scene right here. And the tight close-up shots here. <laughs> the tight close-up shots of, like, you know, the two big bosses right here. The one who this game is all dependent on. Sleep. 
And like, obviously, Tony's had that near death experience, and I'm guessing Phil right there had that near death experience. He might have went to that same purgatory place such as Tony, and Tony's imprinting sort of like his outlook after his experience on Phil right now before he gets out. We gotta stop meeting like this, huh? This this little shit is. Oh. He he might be he might be the rat. You never know how they get that information. A deep intimate moment between Phil and Tony right there ruined like that. She's still going on a man. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, she's throwing it out. Because she got the spec house thing. George, hi, Carmela Soprano. Listen, I want to move ahead with the roofing, ordering the That slate. says so much about Carmela. That Come says on, so much about list? Carmela and her priorities. Uh, fridge, top shelf. That's AJ coming down the stairs, isn't it? I hear the kissing. Sophia, come help, hon. Was that AJ? Jesus, that's a lot of presents. You sure you got enough? You remember you were a kid, WABC? They tell you where Santa was? Tracking him on Air Force radar? Are you gonna hug all the ice? <laughs> I mean, the guy was in the, he was in the Pine Barrens. Of course he's going to hug all the ice. To America. To America. That was a drug oh. reference there too. Hey everybody, this is Blanca. Blanca, my mom, my dad. Hi, this is Hector. Say hello, baby. Hi, Hector. Oh, Yo, how AJ going to have a kid before freaking Christopher? He's not so shy at home. Hey, that is quite a bagatelle. It's from Anthony. Really? Hector, no puppies. Those ain't your presents. It's okay, I got them. Big up Hector, man. Leave Hector alone. Come here, you. Did Carmela get Tony that hat from France? Ah, who's coming later, huh? Hey, Is Santa Claus coming? Mm -hmm. Huh? Carmela, it's Meadow. Tell her I kept my promise. I'm wearing your present from Paris. Yes! <laughs> Excuse me, my daughter's calling from California. California. Where'd this bombshell come from? She's 10 years old. Oh, 10? Who cares that she's Puerto Rican? But 10? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, this family, man. <laughs> he didn't think that'd come from the work site. <laughs> he went to do some construction work. He came home with a kid. Should have told me. I got a guy. And I got a job. Perhaps you have already observed that in Casablanca, human life is cheap. What a movie. What a movie. All right, honey. I miss you too. They couldn't cut away to Meadow. She wasn't available <laughs> for the scene. <laughs> Love to Finn, huh? Yo, why does Kelly's actress look so familiar? You have a gorgeous home. Thank you. Awkward. We do. Tony was talking about it before, and Carmela built that home. Ooh. I, I love the cutaway. Oh, not the cutaway right there, but I love how the camera at the end there. Um, and it's iconic Sopranos, iconic sort of like season ending shot. If this is the end of 6A, um, it's an iconic sort of like Sopranos having all the characters in one shot moment. No Artie. Um, that's interesting. No Artie, um, no Charmaine, no, uh, no Row there. Um, but it's iconic, you know, Sopranos having all the characters in one frame to end the season shot, um, with the camera slowly pulling away, uh, to reveal a beautiful long shot of like, um, the, the living room with the Christmas, um, tree and everything. But at the same time, you had these two pillars sort of like closing in the family itself. It's like making them tight and closer together, um, which maybe is a little bit of foreshadowing to what's to come. Um, I'm not sure how at the time, I think there was a comment saying that, the 6B wasn't certain at the time of this airing. So 
if this is a closer, it makes sense that Tony had that conversation with Phil and sort of like, you know, that maybe um, signified a clean slate. Um, Chris is going to have the kid with Kelly. Chris is back in his drug cycle problems. And it left it on a bit of an ambiguous note. Obviously, you got AJ too. But I like at the end there how the pillars sort of like closed off on... Um, um the girl aj was dating and chris himself kelly was still in fame but chris himself and they sort of be, i don't know it's like almost as if they're distancing themselves away from the family they're not part of this close knit or like because um aj's girlfriend is new to it um she's not seen as sort of belonging to the family yet and chris himself he's distancing himself away from tony we know their relationship how that's going at the moment and what tony thinks of him um so it's very interesting and yeah i can see how this was sort of like a 6a closer um but yeah if this show ended on that note i can see how fans might have been disappointed and wanted more content from the series um because i definitely would have at the time like what the heck is this ending there's still a little bit of loose ends there um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy my reaction to uh, kaisha um the mysterious ghost girl of this episode um and i wonder I don't know if that's a reference to the ghost of aid who Carmela sort of like trying to investigate the mysterious ghost of aid. Where is she? She's ghosted everyone. Kaisha is that mysterious ghost girl too. this episode. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction as always. Been Boyle Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.